Hi, my name's Laura Batante. This is my two bits, and today we're doing a puffer fish treat box craft. This little guy's really fun. He's very cute, and he's designed to go um, with any kind of round candy uh, in a container like this that you might find. Um, doesn't have to be this particular candy, and it could be a tin or plastic, whatever. Uh, you find that you might like to use. Um, obviously I am using these colors the fuchsia and the orange because I have a fuchsia colored candy box but I know that um, Icebreakers here makes um, a mint one. I think it's mint. Anyway I think there's a green container anyway so you could easily um, use that as well and make it sort of a blue green thing for an under the sea party. Um, I think he's lots of fun, looks super cute for summer party. And so let's jump in and go over materials. Well, first you're gonna want the PDF, which is available right there in the video notes. And then you're gonna want your papers. Uh, these are cardstock, 65 pound. And then a glue stick. I always recommend um, something to hold your template onto your cardstock so it doesn't move around on you and paper clips are a nice cheap easy way to go. I have a ruler and that's for my score line and I have my scissors I don't know whether I said googly eyes already a pen and that's just to draw the little spots on him there and then this pen here doesn't work and I'm going to use that for scoring. Now you can also use a tack or you can open up a paper clip and just scrape it, or you can use the back of an X-Acto knife. Um, anything you like that will put a little dent in the paper will work. All right, so for cutting out, the first thing that we're gonna do is trim around our pieces. That makes it easier to work with them. And I also like to trim my um, cardstock that I'm working with down around like I would cut a little square around of my circle, just to make it a little easier to work with a smaller piece. And um, there's two ways to go about the fins here. This particular um, mock-up that I did, I cut them out separately and attached them. On this one that I'm doing with you, I'm actually gonna cut them out as part of the background. So um, you can do it e either way, whatever you think might be easiest for you. All right, so um, because this cardstock isn't overly thick, I'm going to cut both pieces at the same time and I'm not gonna worry about fins for one and not fins for the other. I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out um, following the guideline and then afterwards we'll trim away some bits for the orange. And I like to go ahead and um, cut my points first and then go back and make my cut in between. But you go ahead and do whatever you like and then when we get these all cut out we will meet back and uh, put it all together. All right, so I have taken my um, template off and started my cutting, but just before I did that, I went with my ruler and I scored my lines. And that just makes it a little bit easier to fold. And then I put this aside because, you know, you don't really need guidelines for making these little cuts. Um, it just is so that it will curve easily um, and that's all we're doing this is where we're going to put the glue on these pieces so there you go now I have my orange piece and I need to cut out my orange but I do not want my um, points to necessarily line up so what I'm doing is I'm rotating my template and you, so you can see that they're off now and I'm just going to cut here just like so and this part we don't need and then this part will go down here like so and it will not be all lined up spiffy because we don't want it all lined up it makes it look um, like he's got more points if they're not lined up so I don't know what you call these on a puffer fish I'm calling them points so um, now we're going to go ahead and actually attach it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue uh, on the actual um, mouth part and then I'm going to put glue here. And if, if you find that your little um, piece here 
is longer than you think it should be, then you can just give it a little trim. Whoa, that's a lot of glue. Um, I like to put it down slightly from the top because I don't want to really see it. I know it feels a bit awkward at first, but once the glue starts adhering, it actually isn't hard to do at all. You're not going to see this, so if it's not 100% uh, beautifully curved, as you might hope, don't worry about it. Not to worry, your candy will still sit in it just fine. Okay, so we do want that to dry a bit before we start attempting to attach it to the other piece because it's a bit awkward to get your fingers in there afterwards. And I just want to make sure, see I've got my fins up at the top, which helps give me some placement. And so now I'm just getting an idea of where I'm going to start my glue here and here. Some glue on here. I'm trying to make sure that my lines aren't, my pointy lines aren't matching up too well because I don't want them to. Okay, there we go. And I want to make sure that his mouth is, you know, sort of central to his fins there. While we have the body drying, we're just going to go over and we will remove our um, template and we are going to put some, I've used this one before obviously, put a little glue there. Of course you could easily use double sided tape and then you're just going to center that on your candy container and then you're going to attach your googly eyes and that is all there is to that and then that just gets slid in like so and there you go now um, we haven't put the dots on yet so we're going to do that and as i said i did mine like this when it was finished but if you wanted to do it beforehand go for it um, just make sure you do give it some drying time because you wouldn't want to be smearing your gel pen well, there he is all done. I think that it looks really adorable and uh, would be lots of fun for an under the sea party. So if you um, enjoyed this craft, then I would really appreciate it if you would give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. And I thank you very much for joining me today.